The current location is the La Beach in the Greater Accra region of Ghana, West Africa. And my name is Solowan, you can call me the dog blog. And you're welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. If you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at GH Dog Blogger. Today we are here for an event organized by the Rottweiler Club of Ghana and Crowded Empire Kennel. Yes, it's a Rottweiler beach hangout so there are lots of rottweiler owners here breeders lovers so we're going to get interactive with them and also check out some of the top quality rottweilers right here so don't go anywhere stick and stay as we bring to you more exclusive dog content on this episode my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger don't go anywhere Okay, dog lovers, I found this boss man right here. He's got this beautiful Rottweiler right here. Dog lovers, have a look at this beauty. Wow, 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 wow. Right here at the beach. Nice one. Boss man, welcome to the show. Yeah, I'm right. I'm good. Nice. I think the last time we met was at the dog show in December. You came there with Presa Canarios, Dobermans, and Rottweilers. I'd like you to officially introduce yourself to my dog lovers who are saying it. Oh, okay, so I'm Reginald, but my kennel name is Van Houser Dog Farm at Osu. Yeah, and I breed Rottweilers, Dobermans, and Presa Canarios, all pedigrees. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Dog lovers, nice one. So on social media, if somebody wants to find this, Von House. Yeah, so I'm on almost uh, all, all social handles. Yeah, so it's v, um, v dot H dot dog farm yeah so when you the dog farm is d-o-g-g-p-h-a-r-m yeah so you see me there and oh dog lovers go 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 check out the page and follow this boss man right here now boss man today you are right here at this beautiful beach hangout and you have this nice dog right here i'll let you introduce this dog to my dog lovers but then how do you see today's hangout oh well, today's hangout is quite impressive as you can see yeah we've seen people around almost Almost all the top dogs, as you know, yes, when it comes to Rottweilers are around, yeah, so it's good to see them. And again, this is my friend, this is Ali, from also Dog Farm, yeah, and Ali has been a champion, he has been second in open class, yeah, he's been, go he's been going for shows, and always, you know, we, we bring medals home, so he's made the house proud. So Ali has been producing super puppies, and we're looking for super puppies when it comes to Dobermans, Rottweilers, Presa Canarios. We are always ready to serve. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dog lover. Now have a look at this beauty right there. Boss, how, how old is how, how old is she? Uh, she is three years old now. Yeah. <laughs> dog lover, check out this three-year-old pedigree Rottweiler female right here. Very beautiful. Check out the physique and everything right here. Such a beauty. Wow, 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 wow. Right here at the Rottweiler hangout. Nice one. Boss one, thank you so much for letting us have you on the show. Aye, it's a pleasure. My name is Esiodua Akunia. I'm a co-host of Prime Morning on Joy Prime TV. And I am here because I'm a dog lover. And um, almost every time that there's a dog show, I do my very best to make an appearance because I love dogs. I love, love, love dogs. And I'm, I'm loving what's going on so far. So, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to be here. If you're not here, you're missing out. For sure, if you're not here, you're really, really missing out. So talking about you being a dog lover, you know, let me ask, which breeds do you really love? Can you tell maybe your top three favorite breeds? 
Okay, so growing up, growing up um, at home, it was mainly Boa Bo, Bo Mastiff, and Rottweiler. That's what we grew up with. But then later on in life, like now, um, through Blessed Empire Kennel, I've um, come across uh, French Bulldogs, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, fluffy Frenchies. I mean, and then different breeds, you know, different types of Rottweilers. I didn't know there were different types. I didn't know there were, there were lines when it comes to Rottweilers. But then when I, uh, I met, uh, you know, I came into the encounter with Blessed Empire Kennel, I've learned a lot. I just thought Rottweiler is Rottweiler. Uh -huh. But you know, there's something like Timmy line. You understand me? So it's like, and you know, you, you just can't have any type of Rottweiler. That's, that's how I feel. You just can't have any type of Rottweiler. It has to have a certain kind of face, a certain kind of skin, a certain kind of fair, you know? It's exciting. It's fun. It's fun. Like, like Amor right here. Amor is really beautiful. I don't think anybody who tries to come between Amor and myself will have an issue with me. Amor is going nowhere. Like, since we got here, people just keep on approaching, wanting to take Amor away, wanting, giving offers here and there. But no. This one is not going anywhere. He's mine forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is so dog like this. I know the world while I'm riding a very big, massive dog riding. Then I'm sure that most definitely you are going to now you're going to pick the world while as your number one. Of course, I think I would. I think I would. I think I would that yeah. Seeing so far what unfortunately the Rottweilers that we had growing up, they couldn't really go big. But I, I met a more I'm like, oh my god it's so possible you know and i've learned so much but if i feel like if you're a dog i'm gonna come here i feel like if you're a dog lover there's so much that you need to open up yourself to and learn because it's very interesting to know that it's not just about knowing the breeds it goes beyond that and it, it has to do with a certain level of connection that you would have with these dogs like it's super amazing to know that you can have some level of connection with your dogs and so if you're a dog lover and when we are having activities like this here in Ghana you know when I told somebody the very first Rosweiler um, show competition that I told somebody that I was attending the person was like ah there are Rosweiler competitions here in Ghana like people are lost people are lost you're in Ghana here you don't know that's what the Rosweiler Club of Ghana there's, there's a Rosweiler Club of Ghana that's existing. You know, there's an association that's, you know, Rosewell lovers come together and just celebrate what they have and just, you know, uh, how, how do I put it? But then just to get to know each other, whatever tips you have in relation to, oh, I use, I use this for my dog. Uh, this is what I, I feed them. Oh, this feed is good. This feed is better. It's good for dog lovers and dog owners, dog breeders. And so I feel like when you open yourself up to um, opportunities like this, you will learn a lot. There's so much to learn. I'm, I'm having so much fun. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not only doing TV. I'm not only a journalist. Yes, I'm a dog lover too. And then my free time. Yeah, actually, I don't really have a free time. Or I actually had to squeeze time to be here. But then, ooh, oh my God. Hey boy. All right, let's let's fix the choke chain. Whoa, there's another Rottweiler right here with a Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. So to to your fellow media personality, journalists, and all of that who have not heard of these dog events and all of that, but maybe they chance upon it, but they don't really get to come. Send them a message for me. Hello to my fellow journalists, my fellow media people. Um, there are so many activities that are happening here in Ghana. And one of them is uh, what the Rottweiler Club of Ghana does its very best to put together almost every time. I think um, from last year up until this year, this is about the fourth dog show that I've attended. It's amazing. And so, um, like I said, open yourself up to these sort of things and let's move away from the rigid kind of news that we keep on doing <laughs> you know the hardcore hardcore news and just entertainment this is this is a different level of entertainment and actually yeah i think the next time the next time i think that i have to bring you know um uh joy Prime tv along to to take coverage of this amazing event because it's really amazing yeah so yeah yeah 
that will be very very great yeah, it will be so so great it will be so so great and so please open yourselves up to events like this and there are so many people that are have a, they have fear of dogs but then they are here because it's just amazing to see these different types of dogs although they are all rottweilers you get what I'm trying to say but they are in sizes, they are in shapes, yeah. you know, the muzzle, the fair, everything. It's, it's just amazing. I think that I, I need to start taking videos and go give to Joy Prime and, you know, create some content for them and all that. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, that's, I'm actually having fun. I'm learning a lot. Every time I come to a dog show, I learn a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful, dog lovers. You heard it from the beautiful Asiedua Reddy. Thank you so much for letting us have you on the show. So much. Thank you so much. And enjoy yourself. And then please tell your people that they should be coming to dog shows. And they should invest. They should sponsor. We need, yeah, they need more sponsors. How many sponsors are on board? I think um, about four. They'll be a bit more, a better than this. Yeah, we can do better than this. The Rosewala Club of Ghana, yeah. Open for sponsorship. If you can, come on board. Let's have more fun, all right? What? Okay, dog lovers, so I've met with this boss man right here. This is the man who said on this channel that if you have a house and you don't have a dog, you are a witch. <laughs> <laughs> you sell the, the house. The thing is that if you are a human being and you have a house, you have a car, how can you sleep comfortably at night without a dog in your house? Sell the house and buy a dog. I, I have, it not me. Right now, I think the whole world understands that anyone that can buy a house or can even rent a house and cannot buy a dog and take care of the, the person is Satan. I'm telling you, dogs, dogs are the closest thing to, to, to God. I'm telling you, this is heaven. Heaven is not what was promised us that we'll see flowers. This is heaven. Are you not happy? <laughs> and they say all dogs go to heaven. That's the, the general thing. I'm, there's no dog going to hell. All dogs go to heaven. All the dogs are in heaven. Uh -huh. So if you import dog, you have imported it from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> nice to dog lovers. Now, boss man, let me officially allow you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Alright, my name is Edmund. Uh, I'm the senior builder of Platinum Kennels, like people know me. Platinum Kennels is a small kennel. We are in Labadi. We, we do all breeds. We, we are not specialized in any breed. So, any breed you want at all, when you get to Platinum Kennels, if we don't have, we will link you to the right people that have. Not outside. You will get it in Ghana. Yes, we have everything in Ghana. Funny enough, a lot of people don't know, so they, they, if they want puppies and all that, they tend to get them from outside. But look at Rod. This is Rod. This, this is more than the ones we see on TV in Russia, in Ukraine. Peter Vigilio, he is doing the most in Ghana when it comes to Rottweilers. Um, Naira, my man, also from Labadi, is also doing the most. Peter has also been in Labadi for so long before he relocated. So, in fact, Labadi is the breeding community in Ghana right now. <laughs> nice one. We are, we are Labadi right here. Nice one, boss. So, coming to this event, how, how do you see today's dog event? Um, it's, it's wonderful. Anywhere there is dog, I will go. If, if, if I am told there is a show going on at Wolifenil, you know Wolifenil, when you pass it in Poku Nyanta Fulawa, I'll pick a ride, the next ride to Wolifenil, and I will attend. So, I think it's wonderful. All the dogs I've seen here is superb. It's about time we start competing in the international world. That is my idea. If, if I get a chance to have a talk with all the breeders that I know, I'll tell them, let's breed well, let's sell our puppies, let's start carrying our dogs, take them to the UK, all these big, big AK, AFC, AKFC dog shows and all that. Let's start competing. We can win. They don't have better dogs than we do. Yes, and I would, the advice that I can give my fellow breeders and all the other ones coming. I heard this thing online. <laughs> Someone said we should stop feeding our dogs Gary and Chicken, that they are not lesser gods. Please, let's feed our dogs well. I'm seeing good feeding here. <laughs> I'm 
Pelicum Oklu. Yes, and this is my dog Garon. Yeah. Garon right here. Okay, I'll let us talk more about Baron. But then, um, Garon. are you Garon? Okay, that is Baron. <laughs> so that is Baron, and he's Garon. <laughs> so I just took the name from. And interestingly, when I checked online, it meant uh, bravery. I just the mind the name just came in, and I took the name because of where where the father was coming from, and I just so oh, long just. Meaning Garo. That's how I got it. <laughs> nice one. That's Garo. Right here. But first of all, are you just a dog owner or you're a breeder? A dog, a dog owner. Yes. I just love dogs. So I just have this and two other German Shepherds. Yes. So as to the kennel, and I said, oh, let, let me just try and come and see other types like of the rocks we have. and. If I could get some contacts to get a female for for him, that's the main reason why I was here. That's, that's beautiful. And coming around now, how do you see the event? Oh, it's, oh. It's, it's interesting. You know, in comes to think places, you get a lot of people to talk to. You get to do more inquiries about the breed. You know, we hardly read about the breeds we go in for. Sometimes you read, but there's a difference in reading and when you speak to somebody, who is a breeder, you get insights, you get to understand more of what it takes into keeping the rot and uh, helping with its especially aggressive, defensive nature. You get to get ideas on how to control, how to keep them well. Yes. yes. Nice one. So for uh, dog, other fellow dog owners who hear of events like this but they do not come, send them a message for me, verse one. Okay, so I will say uh, my fellow dog lovers, or if you, are, if you are just keeping a dog, don't just think it's just an animal you are just keeping in the house. Come speak with other people, get to know more about the dog you are keeping. They come out very handy, not in terms of security, but in social life. They are very good companions if you have a dog, so don't just treat your dog anyhow. It should be part of the family, it should be part of you, and you end up realizing that it's a very good decision you took. <laughs> nice one, Bruce, man. Thank you so much for letting Thank us have you on the show. Much. Thank you very right, much. Dog lovers, have a look. Let's have a look at this boss man and Garon, the Rottweiler, right here. Wow. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Rotting right here, Garon. <laughs> Okay, dog lover, so I've just bumped into this multiple award winning actor and dog reader right here. Most of all, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, Charlie. It's always great to meet you, Boss. Thank you, I mean, for the love of dogs. Always connecting with the boss. <laughs> and the beautiful thing is, I'm seeing you at almost every dog show, dog event. Yeah, again, for the love of dog, anything dog, we are there. You know, so, I mean, and it's not just. Um, coming to watch dogs, coming to connect, coming to learn, you know, all these things. Because these dogs, each and every day we need to learn, share ideas, you know, get contact, all these things. So it's very important. If you have dogs and you don't come for events like this, <coughs> excuse me, um, this get together thing where we flex with our dogs, we enjoy our dogs, where we get to make more connect, learn, share ideas, then I'm sure uh, you're joking, it's jokes. Yeah, so now let me let me let you introduce yourself to my dog lovers. I think we've left that out. <laughs> okay, my name is Alfred Mayo. I'm an actor and a filmmaker and a lover of dog by heart. And that's why anything dog you're gonna see me here. Not just a dog, Rod Wireless. <laughs> that is the boss of Black Leash. Rod Wireless. <laughs> that is our boss. So for, for, for people who um hear of dog events, yes. no, let me let you speak to other actors, actresses, and filmmakers. Right. S send them a message for us. For them who hear of dog events, but then they do not come. Tell them something. So, um, there's a huge community in Ghana here, a dog community going down. I mean, it's very beautiful. Most people are not aware of it. Um, but to my filmmakers out there, I know, I mean, we are human beings. Some of them are lovers of dogs. And, I mean, they don't have time for dogs. They have no uh, wild knowledge when it comes to dogs. Please, let's get closer. You can get closer to me. And I'll introduce you to this big man and more great people in the dog industry where you get to learn. Funny enough, these dogs help in many ways, not just 
I mean, we just give them food and water, and that's it. it they help in many ways. So, um, if you want, you want to know more. Get closer. That's all you need to do. Get closer, and then you enjoy the community. And we are one. That's a good thing. And it's all because of the love of dogs. Yes. Beautiful. And now you have this beauty right here. Before I leave you to attend yes. to others, can you tell us about yes. this beautiful yes. dog right here? So Look how she looks so focused exactly. looking at the dog. So this beautiful combination is is a combo between Colt and Terranova Mona Lisa. Yeah. And we got this beautiful girl. Multiple award winning beautiful girl. And then the good news is she has a litter of five with Falco and they are awesome. Yesterday was actually the exact eight weeks of them making them ready for the market. So um, we are just left with three to go. So don't waste time. Look up Blacklish Red Wireless and we'll sort you out. <laughs> go check him out on Instagram, Facebook, Blacklish Red Wireless and Link Up Shabbos. But thank you so much for letting us have you on the show, bro. Bless up. <laughs> Okay, dog lovers, I've seen this wonderful team right here. Dog lovers, have a look at the dogs gathered here. Just have a look at the dogs gathered here. And the team right here, yes, this is the crowded Empire Kennel. The kennel that partnered with the Rottweiler Club of Ghana to organize this beautiful event. And I have the boss man right here. Boss man, it's great seeing you once again. Oh, great seeing you too. Yeah, I think oh. it's, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a very long time. I think since December. Yeah. yeah. I'd like you to officially introduce yourself, your name and all of My that. My name is Frank Mensah. I'm the CEO of Crowded Empire Kennel and Framen Card Pesho. So today you partner with the Rottweiler Club of God. That's impressive. Yeah, because it's been a very long time since December. So we thought of gathering ourselves and then to have fun with all the uh, Rottweilers in our, our society. Yeah. So before I get to the team and let them introduce the dogs that you brought here, I've seen that you brought quite a number of dogs here. I'd like you to drop out your contact details, social media, in case somebody wants to link up. Um, our social media platform is Crowded Empire Kennel on um, TikTok and YouTube and uh, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, it's the same as uh, Flamenca Pet Shop. We have a uh, TikTok Flamenca Pet Shop and uh, Instagram and Facebook yes as usual that's what that's what I so heard it from the boss man he also owns a pet shop link up link up with the boss man right here now boss man let me leave you to attend to other stuff and get to the team right here with your dogs all right okay so I see this beautiful lady right here <laughs> welcome to the show thank you I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers your name and all I'm Hadia Okay, okay. Hadia, and you're having this beautiful dog right here. Can you tell my dog lovers about this beauty? Wow, wow. Man, such a beauty. Yeah, he's called Snyder. Snyder. Beautiful. What do you love about this dog? He's calm. He's calm. He's nice to people as well. That's all very, very true. Dog lover, that's Snyder from Bookie House right there. Very beautiful Red Waller, one of my personal favorites. Ropping this beach hangout organized by the Rottweiler Club of Ghana in collaboration with Crowded Empire Kennel. Now let me move to this boss man too. Boss man, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I also like you to officially introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Okay, I'm Godson uh, and as you can see, I'm with Nixon. Okay. A very big dog. Yeah. And actually, I'm a dog lover. Definitely, I'm a dog lover. I I I, 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 I really love dogs. I really love dogs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. And you're with the team, Crowded Empire Kennel right here. So what do you love about Nixon, this beautiful world while? Uh, Nixon, as you can see, when you check, just, just check the head. Just check the head. See how aggressive he is. Just see the face. Hello. See, just see the face. Oh, I, I, I really love, I really love big dogs, you know. <laughs> you see, uh, so I'm, I'm telling everyone to get a dog. You see, sometimes, uh, he may be can deny you, but I tell you, a dog can never deny you. Nice one. Human beings can disappoint you, but then dogs will most definitely not. Now, dog lovers, let's check out Nixon right here. Nixon right here. Nixon right here. Okay, dog lovers, now let me get to. Wow, dog lovers, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Woo! 
beautiful road wireless garden here. I told you, this is a road wireless event. If you love road wireless, you're going to love this. Boss man, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's great to be seen with you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog, Laris, and this beauty you're having here too. Okay, I'm Johnny Walker from Crowded Empire Kendo. Yeah, and this is my girl, Nima. She's 11 months. Yeah, 11 months old. And what do you love about this beautiful She's female? She's very loyal, friendly, but protective. She's very protective. Yeah. Nice one, dog lovers. Let's have a look at Nima. Nima, Nima, the 11 month old female Rottweiler right here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Whoa. So we are still here. We are still checking out some of the dogs that Crowded Empire Kennel brought right here. And I see another Crowded Empire Kennel team member right here. Boss, well, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, boss. I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Okay, I'm Nana Kwame, an immigration officer, and I just love dogs. Yes, and also a part of uh, the Crowded Empire team. So you have this beautiful boy right here. Can you tell us the name of this dog? Uh, this is Bogdan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, that's, that's all I can say. What do you love about Bogdan? Well, Bogdan is... Uh, one thing I like about him is aggressive. That's all. Just that. Yes. That's very, very protective dog. Yes, yes, yes. And even from the look of, from his face, you can see, yes, uh, some kind of fearful face be like that. Yeah, so <laughs> that's all I like about him. <laughs> Check him out. The boss man says he loves the scary looking face of Bogdan. Looks very intimidating. Yes, this is one trick that is really going to deter a lot of intruders when Bogdan is in the house. Now have a look at Bogdan. Very beautiful dog right here, dog lovers. I'm Dr. Rachel Say, I'm an anesthesiologist at Skolobu. Yes. And I heard that there were the Ross Wireless were the the club were organizing a day out there also, so I decided to come and then my, to bring my mom along. She also she likes Ross Wireless, so I wanted her to meet a few. How do you see the event? I know you've been to other dog shows and other how how is today's experience like? Okay, I've not been here for long, but I've seen quite a number of Ross Wireless around, so I'm sure it will be very interesting. Nice let me get to mommy. Mommy, I'd like you to mention your name and introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Okay, my name is Faye Osei. I'm a research assistant at the community health department. Mommy, mommy. Okay, okay, yes. okay, okay, nice. Mommy, is this your first time at a dog event? Yeah, this is my first time, yes. Uh -huh. Coming here, how, how do you see the whole atmosphere and the people around the dogs and the event? Okay, I, I think I'm surprised to see that there are a lot of um, dog um, wild breeders around. And then the dogs look well kept, like well looked after. So and they look lovely. Yeah. So I'm excited wow. today. So do you, do you do you think of um, owning a Rottweiler sometime in the future? Yeah. I mean, I love them. I'd like to. Maybe in the future. Yes. Why not? Yes. Nice, one, mommy. Now before I leave you to go, I like you to look into our cameras and for people who love dogs but they do not come for dog shows. Since this is your first time, send a message to them for me. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm really enjoying today. I, I mean, I'm sure there will be more to come. So if if you love dogs and you want to come to these events, I think it's very good and yes, you learn a lot too. Yes, and how to look after the dogs, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, my name is Maverick. Uh, I'm more of a Rottweiler, uh, shepherd kind of a person. Okay. And my love for dogs uh, emanated from my childhood, where I lived with about 13 dogs. Oh. Yes, 13 dogs. I mean, you know, for dogs, uh, at a point in time, you have that phobia for them because they look ferocious. People say the, you cannot tell the attitude in the next moment. But I can assure you, if you know a dog very well, if the dog is about to attack you, you would see it. That's, that's how generally... That's very, very true. That's what I tell a lot of people when they say, like, how, how do you get to meet new dogs and stuff i tell them sometimes you can tell if the dog is going to attack you or not nice or boss so is this your first time at a dog event no i go to dog events but normally i don't go with my dogs because you know you want to see other dogs you want to interact with people and sometimes too because of the way the environment is some dogs get uncomfortable when there are too many people running around and then you also have to uh, consider people other dogs as well so yes Every now and then, yes, I will go to a dog show, take a look, and looking at the 
atmosphere that I thought would guide my decision to actually go to a show. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about atmosphere, how do you see today's event, the atmosphere, the environment and everything? Okay, so the atmosphere, the weather is good for the dogs, the sand is good for them, you know, you have bees all over the place, it's good. However, you have too many concentration of people around and people playing balls and some dogs are very used to football. So you tend to have them running around trying to chase after the, uh, the ball and everything. So yes, for the dogs' environment, it's good. But in terms of their focus and their attention, I think it's a little bit too crowded for them. Yes, sure. Nice one, but so for people who do not like dogs, before I leave you to go, look into our cameras and send a message to them. Look, you would never know what fun and what excitement you can get in a dog. You would always say that you don't like a dog, but I'll tell you, start with the puppy, okay? Take care of the puppy as the puppy grows, just like a little child. As they grow, you will begin to develop love, affection for them. And once you get a dog, you nurture it, it grows up. You definitely will not depart from a dog. That I can assure you. They look ferocious, yes. They attack, yes. But it's dependent on the way you interact with them. The way you approach them. And that is what will determine what they will do to you. So yes, go for a dog any day. Because they will give you security, they will give you company, and they will give you the love that they have. <laughs> Sure. Nice one. That's the boss man, Maverick. Right, it says go for a dog any day. Boss man, thank you so much for letting us have you. Thank you too very much. And I see you do a lot of dog shows, and that's good for you. You must develop some little bit. You have good courage to be able to actually go to dogs. And that's very good. Maybe one day I'll give you a dog. For sure. Thank you so much, boss man. All right. Bless him. You too. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cheers, bro. Dog lovers who have met with the Allah Akbar Kabira Farms team right here with these beautiful dogs. Now let me start with this boss man. Boss man, shall you introduce yourself to our dog lovers? I'm David Sajay, as you know. Yeah. Nice one. Today, you're right here again wrapping this World Wildlife event. Yeah, yeah. You know, the defending champion has to participate in everything they will call in, so we are in. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. did you see today's event too? It was cool, it was cool. We just flexed in the dogs and today it was cool. Nice one, nice one, nice one, dog lovers. I'm sure you're loving the scenes right here with the dogs. The, this beautiful dog, Timothy, right here. And I have the boss man here. To boss, I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers too. Hey, this is Allah Akbar Kabira Kennel. Yeah. We're here with our Rottweilers, you know. We are, we are, we are dog lovers. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. I'll let you... um. Introduce the dogs, but then let me get to this boss man here. To boss, welcome to the show. Oh, yeah, um, I'm Uma, and like you said, from Malabar, and it was this thunder. So we're here to just show them to the world. And how do you see today's event coming here? Um, it was it was nice. Everyone came out so we expected so Charlie. It be like we expected so you go on. You know that. Nice one, in that dog lovers. Beautiful road wireless right here. Boss man, now be, be, before I leave you and the team to go, how do you see today's event and then you introduce these dogs oh, to my chale, dog lovers? Chale, 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 chale. Well, the show was so great. We really love the show. Yeah. What we expect, we expect more. We see more than that. Yeah, we really love that. But we pray that next year will be more, more better than this. That's what we pray for. And we know God's going to be there for us like he be there for us today. Yeah, Charlie, what while I, eh? We always say, say, eh? Buy dog. Buy dog. Try buy dog. If you have a house and you don't have a dog, trust me, you're a witch. You know what? Sell your house and buy a dog. That's a lot of about for you. Yes, dog will protect you. They are friendly. You understand? They will guide you. They will do anything you want. Dogs is better than getting the security. Because, Charlie, now, now to trust human self is very hard. So you got your you got your dog. This one this one right here is Timothy. Timothy, that's the champion. 2022 RCG champion. Yeah. 2022. Yeah, that's Timothy. Okay. And that's Tanda. That's Tanda here. Tanda. Yo. That's Tanda here. Tanda. Okay. Tanda Tanda has been a very good boy. It's now one year. He's a very good boy. Yeah. It's a lot of Understand. For somebody who 
what's the link up with you i like you to drop our social media and any details you want to drop yeah charlie just just go on tiktok Allah hakba kabira kendall we are on tiktok we are on instagram same details and you can reach us on 024-50-2001 yeah and even charlie if you don't stress yourself contact gh dogs you understand hey gh dog you are the best yeah, because Charlie, we love this man. We love this man so much. He has been helping the whole breed, not only Rottweiler, Boa Bulls, everything. He has been helping everyone. Charlie, we love him so much. That's for boys. That's for boys. You can see them. Yeah. That is for dog lovers. Now let's check out the dogs for Mala, Huaba, Kabira fans. Beautiful dogs who ride their dog lovers. Just have a look at them. Nice one. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.